Good morning, my friends. Hello. How is everyone doing today? How's the best community ever? My friends, wow. What a weekend. I had an extended weekend, so that's why you didn't get a drive video. I was meaning to put a video up uh, this morning. It just did not happen. I was going to, I was getting into the, uh, well, oh my gosh, guys, hold on. So I, pa I posted three vids over the weekend, uh, literally like within just like, you know, minutes of each other. Because E3 is going on. There is so much crap happening. 2019, 2020 are shaping up to be big game years. And, <coughs> excuse me, we finally have a date. April of 2020, which sort of makes sense because Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, no, 20, no, never mind, doesn't make sense anymore, uh, it's gone, but no, I am just so hyped for Cyberpunk 77, it's just not even, just, just not even close, and then, you know, when I, Fallout 76 came out, and what I liked about it, I'll probably just do a separate video about this as well, um, with Todd Howard coming out the lead, the lead, the big boy, the big daddy of Bethesda out there, uh, apologize in a sense. He didn't apologize, but you know what? He gave credence and he uh, acknowledged that they had a lot of issues, uh, and that's cool. And I, I think the the one joke he said that um, uh, really stuck with me is uh, what he's talking about. Like, oh, there's been a lot of conversation, a lot of stuff going on about Fallout 76. Sort of surprised you're all here right now. But no, it was a crowded, packed stadium for them. And uh, they, you know, that's good. That is good. It, it, that is good that they have uh, acknowledged and, you know, said, yeah, we effed up. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Thank you for staying with us. And they, I think for across all platforms, across all their games, 60 million people. That's just crazy talk. And uh, then, you know, they came out with the, with the new Wastelanders uh, DLC which is coming out, I forgot when, and uh, that, uh, human NPCs are coming back now, and that's awesome, that is a literal game changer, and well, can our, I'm going to say game saver, because people are playing 76, they are playing it, um, but we'll, we'll add in a small print game saver there as well, so that is awesome sauce, but what I was doing last night, getting footage for a video for last night, was Fallout 76's Nuclear Winter Battle Royale. That's right. Battle Royale has come to the Fallout universe. And, um, I, you know, I saw, of course, you see, like, the typical hate on what things. And, you know, you see that in the real world, right? People are like, rah, 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 I don't like it. And you're someone going like, uh, you know that's optional, right? You don't have to do it. So I don't know why you're like big in a stink because you never actually have to play it, ever. It doesn't affect you whatsoever, unless you know you want some cool rewards and like cool cosmetic stuff. But it, otherwise, it doesn't affect you at all. So shut up, humans. But no, I got in, had no server issues. That was the video I was trying to do last night, but I was having some issues on me wise rather than anything else. Uh, but it was great, and I played three games. In my third game, I got a uh, victory royale. What? What? Uh, the over. I won. Me and my group won. There's like two of us left. <laughs> it was just this guy and me. Uh, I had a sniper and a grenade launcher, and that grenade launcher came in quite handy until I killed myself once. But that was that was awkward. But he revived me. But we did great. We did awesome. It was. It, I had a lot of fun. I I have is just much fun in the Fallout 76 Battle Royale that I that I do in um, Fortnite. I, it, it is fun. I I think it's fun, and I can see this sucker having legs. But I will explore it some more. We're gonna I'm gonna do a whole video about it because there you know there is that hate out there for like I can't believe you did that. Why did you do that? That's so wrong. Just shut up. Um, Anthem, not. Too much of a press got a little blurp here and there at E3. I know the game changer. Some of them friends of mine who uh, went to the E uh, E pl E uh, EA Play uh, thing and the ones who did Anthem were there. 
and I know they had a, a round table discussion about what you know things they see in the cataclysm and stuff like that and from what uh, your will your, your William your anthem my friend William was saying that the cataclysm is very you know th there's a lot of nuance to it there's a lot of stuff inside it so if you're just one-sided and you got your blinders on you're only trying to do one thing you're going to miss a lot of what's inside the cataclysm so that's good and, and uh, of course he's under NDA and can't talk about stuff but uh, there's if everything go at goes as planned from what he has heard I believe and from everything I have seen I think Anthem's got a good future to it we just got to get that sucker rolling right um Sotor, Sotor, Sotor. My dear love, Sotor. That's right. We got some more stuff for Sotor tacticals and uh, amplifiers as we try to wrestle our heads around those. Uh, we got tons of stuff going on for Sotor, as always, because we have a new expansion coming on. So I will be kicking the cans for that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Keanu Reeves made a debut in um, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Um, and he was on stage, too. And cool thing is, uh, he he was saying something, and and a YouTuber who was in in the audience like you're breathtaking, and Keanu was like, no, you're breathtaking, you're all breathtaking. Well, the really cool thing is that YouTuber, uh, CD Projekt Red, figured found out who it was, and gave him a free collector's edition, which is a two hundred and fifty dollar value of uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. You get stickers and pins. The art book, maps, you get all kinds of crap with this. Plus, you get a, a, a statue, which looks really cool. The only complaint I haven't seen, and I kind of felt this a little bit too, was where's the female V? But I guess one one of the um, pictures you get is uh, reversible. So, but yeah, a lot. But no, I was blown away by CD Projekt Red's presentation of Cyberpunk 2077. It was awesome. Fallen Jedi looked really cool. And if you gauge how it is on my channel, the three reaction videos I did, 76, Fallen Jedi, Cyberpunk, Fallen Jedi's coming in at a back third. So, but from what I saw in the gameplay, it looks really good. It, it, it looks really good. I'm excited for it. So, we'll see what happens there. So, yeah, guys, have you been watching E3? If so, what are you excited about coming in the near future? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you play Fallout 76, Boomination is my name. Let's get up and kill some people in Battle Royale. And uh, friends, we'll see you later. I love you. You're great. Remember to be kind. It's about community. And uh, have a great day. Rawr!